So let us look at some more examples. I want as much practice as possible. So here we have a problem. And again, the idea is to always consolidate the logs. So how do we consolidate this one here now? We are adding. So again, we multiply. So log 2, same base 2. And then it's x times 10 minus x, right? That's equal to 4. And so, definition for logarithm, this base here to the power here, 4, is equal to x times 10 minus x. So that's 2 to the power of 4. You multiply 2, 4 times what you get? 16. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Expand. We get x times 10. That's 10x. x times minus x. That's minus x squared. And then we can just, let me just group everything. The quadratic. Let's put everything over here on the left hand side. So it's positive x squared. 10x, negative 10x. And 6x remain, 16, sorry, remain positive 16. Alright, and we can factorize. And how do we factorize? We break up the minus 10 into minus 8. And minus 2, good. So here, to solve this, we equate both brackets to 0. So we equate x minus 2 to 0. And also x minus 8 equate to 0. So solving x equal to positive 2. Solving this one, x equal to positive 8. So those are our solutions. So here's another problem. So to solve this, we can cons consolidate. But how? Notice now we're subtracting. So we consolidate by dividing, right? So this is x plus 1 over 3x plus 1. That's the second law we looked at, right? Equal to 2. So we consolidate the elephant side. Combining these logs, we're subtracting, so we divide, right? And then the very definition of logarithm. So the base here, 2, to this power here, of 2, is equal to x plus 1 over 3x plus 1. All right, and that's what 4. So 4 is equal to x plus 1 over 3x plus 1. And of course, you want to get rid of the denominator. So we can times both sides by, we times both sides by 3x plus 1. So we times this side by 3x plus 1. We also have to do the same thing to the other side. It's times it by 3x plus 1. So we end up with, if we expand here, 4 times 3x, that's 12x. 4 times 1, that's 4. On the right hand side, 3x plus 1 into itself. So we're just left with x plus 1. And then we group like terms. Group like terms. So let me just continue over here. So group like terms we have 12x take away x and over the right hand side we have positive 1 4, neg negative 4. So this becomes 11x 1 minus 4 that's what? Negative 3. So divide both sides by 11 x is equal to minus 3 over 11. So here we have another problem. So again, we consolidate logs, but before we don't want any coefficients here. So this two, remember, remember the, 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 the one of the laws we look at, I think it was the third one. This can be rewritten as two. So this, this value here, the coefficient of the log can be a power here for the X, all right? We can move this around. This two can come here. All right, that's it. Check. Just look back at the third row that we looked at. This is minus, and then x plus 4. Good. So we can consolidate the logs by dividing. Since 
So subtraction between them. So is x square over x plus 4 is equal to 1. All right. So this is x square. Work it here. So this over this since we're subtracting. And then definition for logarithm, the base here to the power here is equal to x square over x plus 4. And again, we want to get rid of the denominator. So we times both sides by x plus 4. So we can times the left hand side by x plus 4 times the right hand side by x plus 4 and we see exactly what's happening now so 2 times x plus 4 so it's 2x plus 8 so 2 times both terms in the bracket and then x plus 4 times x plus 4 into itself 1 so this is x square so let me just group all the terms on the right hand side here what I'll have here is 0 and then x square group these over the right we have minus 2x minus 8 and how do we factorize that we break out the minus 2 right into into minus 4 and positive 2 factor by groups we'll end up with x minus 4 x plus 2 watch my video and factorize in quadratic so to solve this we equate both brackets to 0 so equate x minus 4 to 0 and we equate x plus 2 to 0. Here we have x equal to 4. Uh, here we have x equal to minus 2. So here's another problem. And again, before we can consolidate, we, don't, we do not want any coefficients here. So let's rewrite this. So we have log base 2, 2x plus 1, minus, and this value here, we can just move it, power here of a number 2. All right, likewise, this 2 here, we can move it, according to the third law to here, right? So this becomes the log of 2x plus 1 base 2 minus log base 2 and 2 to the power of 3. What's 2 to the power of 3? 8, right? And this becomes log base 2. What's 5 squared? 5 squared, that's 25. Good. So we can consolidate the ones on the left hand side. By, by dividing, since you're subtracting the logs, so this is 2x plus 1 over 8. Alright, so we consolidate these. This is log 2, log 25, sorry, base 2. Now, basically, so we have, remember, if we have if log a, equal log b then we can just drop the logs and say conclude that a is equal to b or we can move vice versa and log both sides we have log a equal log b but in the same way you can just drop the, drop the logs here and say therefore 2x plus 1 over 8 is equal to 25 and then of course let's make some space to complete of course we need to get rid of the denominator there of 8 so we can times both sides by 8 now what's 8 8 times both sides by 8 so 8 into 8 1 so we just have 2x plus 1 here right Now it's 8 times 25. It's 200. So solving, subtract 1 from both sides. We have 2x equal 200 minus 1. 
so 2x is equal to 199 so x is equal to 199 divided by 2 by the way what's 199 divided by 2 well 200 divided by 2 we know it's 100 so it seems to be 99 and a half right 99.5 in the next video, we'll be looking at some change of base problems.